They're the companies that help fund and promote the games we all know and love. Who's there? Come out! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game publishers. Just so there's no confusion, and so they're not mistaken for developers, a video game publisher's role is to finance a development team and to promote and distribute the games that they're working on. Prepare for an astonishing adventure full of mystery. Some of these companies have development teams in-house, and other times they work with external development houses. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. To make this list, we're ranking the companies based on their important history and impact on the video game industry, as well as how their contemporary results measure up today. Companies that are no longer around sadly cannot make the list. No one's coming out without scars, but it all comes down to this moment. Number 10, ZeniMax Media. Who's wrote oh! In publishing Bethesda's games, this publisher has conquered many a strange land. They've managed to deliver incredibly detailed worlds in Elder Scrolls and Fallout that have consumed us for hours on end. ZeniMax also recently acquired id Software in 2009, and Arcane Studios, whose recent success came in the form of Dishonored. While they mostly use the Bethesda Softworks name for brand recognition, ZeniMax is at the top of the chain. Number 9, Konami. Kawabanga! Not only the publisher of the Metal Gear series, which has consistently proven to be technologically and narratively impressive, but they've also done Castlevania, which helped define the Metroidvania genre with Symphony of the Night. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! Now with the new Silent Hill game, starring The Walking Dead's Norman Reedus and co-directed by Guillermo del Toro and Hideo Kojima set to arrive soon, Konami continues to be relevant in an ever-competitive field. Number 8, Square Enix. The RPG kings of the 90s continue to dominate today. Made up of Enix, who made the Dragon Quest powerhouse in Japan, and Squaresoft, who brought us the poorly named JRPG behemoth that is Final Fantasy. With the two merging in 2003, they were also able to acquire many other publishers, including Eidos in 2009, whose IPs include Deus Ex, Thief, and Tomb Raider. Square Enix has definitely become one of the largest publishers today. Number 7, The Valve Corporation. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. Grab onto your crowbars. Sure, their Steam platform has come to dominate the PC space, and their catalog of games is stupendous to this day, with gems like Team Fortress 2 and Portal complementing their epic Half-Life series. Plus, them being voted as one of the best companies to work for is a telling sign of how good their current position is. We really can't afford to get noticed. But they're still sitting at number 7, because we're all waiting for Half-Life 3, and we wanted it yesterday. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Number six, Take Two Interactive. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. You might know them best as the guys who own Rockstar Games, the guys behind the Grand Theft Auto series. Shit! Though their work with other developers has also given up Borderlands, Civilization, and Bioshock, games that have conquered generations of hardware and hit millions of sales within days of their release. Their other games are good as well, seeing as they're the only consistent alternative in the sports genre with 2K Sports. It's probably no surprise then that EA tried to take over this juggernaut in 2008, but the value of the company was too high, even for them. I don't see you complaining on the way to the f***ing bank! Number 5, Sony Computer Entertainment. With a plethora of studios under their belt, they certainly live up to that slogan, Greatness Awaits. PlayStation. Ranging from Naughty Dog, the makers of Uncharted and The Last of Us, to Gorilla, makers of Killzone, along with a myriad of other games, Sony likes to make sure that they control who's making the hits for their hardware. Quality can vary, but the sheer extent of the unique experiences like Puppeteer and Little Big Planet makes Sony a juggernaut. On top of that, their PS Plus and PS Now services are excellent value and proof that software experience is consistently more important than hardware. Number four, Electronic Arts. Whoa, 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 put the pitchforks down, internet. 
Okay, while their reputation has suffered in the eyes of gamers, voted twice as America's worst company, their catalog of games, from Battlefield to sports games like Madden and FIFA, continue to sell millions and cannot be ignored. Get another big game there, I'm telling you, I'm impressed with what they're doing right now in the running game. They also, for better or for worse, have acquired many other developers over the years. Melted their bodies into gray liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Most notably, Bioware, who brought us Mass Effect and Dragon Age under the EA banner. You might not like EA, but we're willing to bet that you like a few of their games. You're not dying on my Number 3. Nintendo They helped bring back video games from the crash of 1983 with Super Mario Bros., and their venture into video games blazed the trail for others to follow suit. <laughs> Even if you ignore the likes of Mario, Legend of Zelda, and Pokemon under their belts as first-party titles, over the years they continue to surprise us by publishing external games that we thought they'd never touch, notably Eternal Darkness and Bayonetta 2. What? What? Wait, what? You're joking, right? While the Wii U has struggled as of late, the 3DS is still going strong, and despite what trolls say, they ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Here we go! Number 2. Ubisoft. You're my bitch. I rule this fucking kingdom. Shut the f up or you die. Originating from France and quickly becoming one of the strongest video game companies around the world, many point to Ubisoft for feeding into the parkour craze with their Assassin's Creed series. <laughs> you have style, but endurance is what counts. They didn't rest on their laurels when they revived their 1990s Rayman franchise into Rayman Origins and Legends nor when they took a chance with their new major franchise, Watch Dogs. These guys, I heard stories, man, they're like nothing you ever seen before. The company also holds the rights to the Tom Clancy series, with a slew of modern conflict games. And for the casual market, there's Just Dance, you know, one of the few reasons to hang on to that connect that you don't like to tell people you own. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Activision Blizzard When these two behemoths converged in 2008, franchises like Call of Duty, Diablo, and Warcraft, Skylanders, and Guitar Hero suddenly fell under the same roof. I'm going belly up! Boom! Activision has been around since the days of the Atari 2600, with some of their early successes being Pitfall and River Raid, while Blizzard still holds on to the biggest MMO of all time in the form of World of Warcraft. And that's not even mentioning their strategy franchises. How well do you know yourself? With something for every gamer and two of the biggest household names in gaming under their belt, it's impossible not to consider the sheer presence that this company has had on gaming as a whole. And that's why they've grabbed the number one spot. But they've never seen anything like you. Do you agree with our list? Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. Who's your favorite or least favorite video game publisher? For more gigantic top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.